Hey guys, welcome to another tool review. My name is Steven. This is my Occidental tool vest that I use on a daily basis. And I'm just going to go over with you what I carry and how I use it as a low voltage electrician. First off, uh, tick tracer. Always got to have this, make sure that uh, you're never working on anything hot. Next is the Hawkbill. This is by Milwaukee. Uh, good for cutting cable or um, when we're running multiple cables, cutting the tape off the head to get it to wherever we're running it. I always carry a uh, pencil. This is a Nick Pro. The lead size is 1.3. It's a pretty thick size lead for a lead pencil. So I like this because the other ones typically break. Uh, Inkzall by Milwaukee. Best Sharpies out there good for any type of material wet dust whatever I'm currently using the uh, the Klein these are the Bluetooth earbuds but these are the ones with the smart uh, Bluetooth or smart hearing they basically lower loud noises around you uh, metal cutting saws grinders uh, sawzalls this will basically lower the volume but still allow you to have a conversation with the person next to you and protect your hearing. This is very good for the job site. On this side, uh, another Sharpie, and um, I got this Husky center punch tool. Uh, this is for when I'm drilling into, say, metal, uh, especially when you're doing it on finished product. Uh, this comes in handy because it basically gives you a lead for the drill bit so that it's not rolling around and it makes it, it, makes it to have a cleaner drill hole on whatever you're working on. The next two are Klein Magnetic Hex socket sets. I have two of them. This is the older model and this is the newer model. It's got more sizes available which is good. So this one's always good to have and it's impact rated so you can throw this on an impact gun and go to town on whatever you're working on and the cool part is uh, you can clean off the top so say like right now I have metal shavings just take my thumb and as you guys can see brand new clean magnet ready to go on my right side I carry a square for for example I'm cutting unistrut um, I want to make sure that I'm making a clean cut so I use this to secure the circular metal cutting saw to make sure that it's cutting a straight line so it doesn't bounce around also carrying the um, Milwaukee Electrician's Torpedo Level. Um, I really like this one, it's clean. It's got multiple magnets on it. Great for daily use. Right now I am trying out the uh, Milwaukee's newest uh, hand tools, the ones made in the USA. These are the Linemans. I put a key ring around here just because um, sometimes I'm working at higher altitudes and I like to have fall protection on my tools so I don't drop them on anybody or possibly hurt anyone below me. Um, the next one is my diagonal cutters. As you guys can see, I carry a fall protection. This is the Milwaukee. I believe it's rated for 10 pounds. Right now I have it wrapped around, but these are the diagonals. And then I have the needle nose that I carry with me as well. On my left side, I have these uh, Milwaukee combination strippers. Uh, the inside cuts pretty much any size cable. It's pretty thick. It's got the front for reaming conduit, cleaning it out, uh, wire strippers, and it also has uh, for cutting screws. 832s and 632s, so if you need to cut them down, uh, this is pretty cool. It's a great combination tool. Uh, I got the Milwaukee flush cuts. These are good for cutting zip ties, cutting the ends off, making sure that it's a clean cut so you don't scratch yourself when you're working. And if I'm working on conductors, I have the wire strippers from Milwaukee. Pretty excited about these. These are pretty cool. These are the new Milwaukee screwdrivers. This is the 27-in-1 uh, security driver. Comes with the security bits and the back handle. And then it'll have the regular screwdriver. This is also a 27 in one, but these are your classic bits that you use on the field. So just good to have them. I like carrying uh, tools that have multiple purposes. That way I don't have to carry so many tools. 
And then my next one is my 14 in one. Um, we call these tweakers. I don't know about you guys, what you call them. Obviously they're for smaller components. Uh, this has a couple star bits in it, uh, flat Phillips, and it's just good to have for when you're working on like um, security panels or you're working on access control panels, you know, those little tiny screws, this is perfect for that. In the back, I have the Klein. This is the new, it's not an FR, but it's the new pouch. For, uh, this is originally for iron workers, but I like it because it fits in this uh, back strap to the vest, so I can carry a bag back here. First, gonna start off with the uh, demolition screwdriver from Milwaukee. This is the newest one that just came out. Um, it's really good if you need to demo something. Great wider flathead point, so when you're hitting it with the hammer, and um, as you guys can see, this is a pretty nice chisel blade. On the other side, I have uh, two of the Knipex. These are the Cobra pliers. I like these because one, they're just easier to use. and they grab pretty good. Now, I was carrying a crescent wrench, but I came to fall in love with these from Knipex. These right here, um, I'm sure you guys have also had the same problem in the field where when you're working on something with a crescent wrench, it, it loosens up a little bit or it's hard to you know get around something, but this, the fact that you could just open it up enough, pull it off, go to the next one, and then you have a great grip. And the cool thing is, when it's closed, it's not that bigger than the regular crescent, uh, crescent grip handle, but at least you know you won't have that wobble in between. It's gonna grab it no matter what, and it's gonna allow you to turn it. So I carry these in the back. Um, the next two that I'm gonna talk about is what's inside the pouch. So in the back of the pouch, I carry my punch down tool and my, I believe it's my, Crimper, so, oh, another Sharpie, another Sharpie. This is the Milwaukee punch down tool. It's got, um, I really like this one over uh, Klein right now or Fluke. It's got a low and a high setting. The low setting is pretty strong already. I don't really think there's a need to go all the way to high. Um, I've been in crowded patch panels and this is enough to cut a cable with no problem. The other cool part about this is it has a light so when you're inside a crowded patch panel and you need to find a certain one, you don't need to turn on your headlamp, you don't need to be holding a flashlight with your other hand. It frees up your other hand so you can illuminate your work area. The other cool thing is it comes with Milwaukee's extension blade that allows you to get in there deeper when you have a, like I said, crowded patch panel. So this is pretty cool. Always keep it in the back. Um, I'm a big fan of tools that are compact and small and that allow you to get into tight places. This is Klein's uh, pass-through and non-pass-through uh, termination for RJ45s. Um, it's as compact as you can get. It's pretty small. Uh, it can even fit in one of these pockets, you know, these little side pockets right here if I wedge it enough. But uh, it's great to have because you never know. Uh, it's always good to have a termination tool on you if you you never know when you're gonna need it, so it's always good. I always carry it in my back pocket. Uh, last thing before I forget is the, uh, my tester, or excuse me, my, uh, my Fluke. This is my Fluke T5600 electric tester, um, two prongs. I know it's more for electricians, but I mean, we're doing, doing the same thing, finding voltages on some of our conductors or you know our uh, fire alarm panels, um, security, making sure we're getting the proper voltage to a door. So um, I like this guy. I also like that I got the, uh, the fluke pouch. Um, it's easy to carry around. I literally just wrap it around like this and it's gonna be secure. So this is like, I guess you could say my war bag. This is what I carry when I don't know what I'm gonna be doing, but I'd rather just carry everything cause you know, it's gonna be needed. Thanks for tuning in guys and have a great day.